Hello and welcome to this presentation on ANSYS Workbench Mechanical. We're going to look at adding a post-processing APDL commands object to the outline after a solution has been completed. Here we have a very simple model, two bodies in contact with each other. We're going to push one body into the other while fixing the back side of that body. It's quick to solve. and we can look at a plot of deformation as well as stress. Suppose we decide we'd like to put some APDL commands in to do some specialized plotting. Let's right-click, Insert, a set of APDL commands. Let's put in a command block that looks like this. We start off with a header so that we know when we've found the commands that we've put in. The key to making this work is to put in the command set, comma, last, so that not just a result, but also the mesh will be read in from the output results file. We can go here and right-click and request solve, but it doesn't resolve the model. It says here it's executing post commands. It's just executed the commands that we entered. And you can see there was a plot in there as well as sending the result to a PNG file. There's the image file that we generated. Once again, the key was that you have to put in the set comma last command and then go ahead with the other things you want to accomplish. If I go back and look at the project page, you can see here that in addition to the usual solve.out file, there's a post.dat, a post.out file. If I right-click on the post.out file, open containing folder, open that file, you can see it contains the usual ANSYS output information, but it's only for those post-processing commands. And in here, you can see that there was a title and that a plot was done. And that's all. So, if it comes up as an afterthought, and you'd like to add your own APDL post-processing commands, after you've solved a large model, you can do it. You just have to start off with something that will resume the model. Set, comma, last was enough to do it. Of course, if you planned ahead in analysis settings and indicated that you wanted the database file saved, you could start off with a resume command instead. An advantage of saving and then resuming the database for post-processing, that's the file.db file, is that you would then have access to named selections as components in APDL, letting you do more with the model. At any rate, this is a way in which you can add a post-processing APDL set of commands. Thank you for joining me.